this startup tutorial on Coral Painter. Uh, today we'll be discussing uh, the startup screen right here, the brush pressure, the layout, and the custom palette. Okay, first the startup screen right here. Um, this is what you'll uh, get to see every time you start up Coral Painter. Uh, you get a nice artwork right here. You get to create new document. The open existing document, the recent documents, and the document templates. Um, well, we'll see recent document. Okay. You got your five last uh, artworks right here just under this button. Get document template right here. If you press open existing document you'll uh, go to your library and you can just grab your document that you work on. Okay, um, let's start up with create new document. So, um, If you come in here for the first time you will see with high resolution um, and you got all the size to choose from. I've got them uh, set to pixels, but you can also use inches, centimeters, points, pickas, or columns. Um, yeah, I, I use pixels most. I prefer pixels. Okay, so uh, you can set your resolution here. I have my resolution on the standard commercial uh, settings, 300. Um, you can choose your paper color right here. Mine's white, of course. Um, okay, this is picture type. Um, what kind of picture you want? You can just select right here. Are you want an image? Do you want a movie? You can set uh, a few frames, maybe you want 800 frames or something like that. And you can just set them. Um, but if you don't know how much frames uh, you, will gonna, uh, you are going to use, the, you can just keep it at one and you can add frames right here. Um, okay, so let's start up. Let's set. Um, okay, let's go over the layout. The layout is pretty much like um, the one in Photoshop. So I assume you all have some Photoshop experience, but I'll go over it. Um, you have your brush right here, brush, those brushy things. You got your select bar. You've got your um, what do you call this again? The black arrow marker. You got the wonder wand. You got the crop tool. You got the uh, selection adjuster. You got your pen tool. You got uh, the basic shape tool. Text white arrow. Uh, the dropper tool, the bucket, and you cut zoom tool, and of course you got the hand tool. And under the hand tool, you got a few options. You cut the turn tool. This is very handy, used a lot. Um, and you've got the perspective uh, tool right here. You got a few selection options like selection arrow. Let's see if you can. So, okay. Then go to this. You can just make a drawing selection. It's very handy. Um. Okay. So we'll go on. Um. 
to the next one. Okay, that's the color select tool. When you get your color wheel right here, you can just select any color you want. Greenish, greenish. Go for green. Let's see. Okay. So you can just select your color right here. Okay, go to the mixer. Mixer is very important. It's a very cool, nifty tool. Okay, you want, uh, let's say, we want to make green. Okay, so we use some blue. We use some yellow. And what do we get? Greenish. It's a tool I use quite often because it's uh, very handy for making uh, gradients, gradients of all, and you can just blur them with the blur brush afterwards. Yeah, better. Yay. Okay, so we've got that. Um, we'll delete that. Go. So. Then we've got the layers tool. You can just add layers here and delete them there. You can make a special uh, water uh, watercolor layer. Uh, these are meant for uh, digital watercolor or the original watercolor that's right here. Um, if your brush select bar, almost forgot, most important thing. Um, oh, see, you can't work on a watercolor layer with an airbrush because it's not watercolor. Um, so here you can basically select all your nifty tools. Um, next one, the custom. How can I make something custom? Well, it's just as easy as drag. Drag. Maybe, maybe you want a full uh, airbrush file. You can just drag them in. Maybe you want some effects with it. Just drag and drop. Oh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Maybe you want some felt pens. Never used them, but doesn't matter. So, and you can just take millions of these and just put them up in here. It's very nifty. I have these three. I have the the airbrush, the blender, and the eraser tool. Blender. Um, so that's very nifty. Uh, and then last, but certainly not least, the brush tracking tool. Um, I have my settings set to these, and you can just just like this, but if you just scribble something up here, you get an uh, outcome right here, and settings you uh, get from this, from just scribbling, maybe you have something like a tight grip, and you have much pressure. You can also do very little pressure. Have very little pressure, then you will see the pressure power is half, and the uh, brush tracking will just adjust to that. Will adjust to that. So it doesn't matter how you do it, and you can just go click OK. I will click cancel because I have my settings <laughs> already. Um. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this beginner's tutorial. If you have questions, you can just add them. And uh, see you later.